All right, so you want to increase your show ratio. Who doesn't want to increase their show ratio? Because if you do, guess what? You sit with more people and you end up making more sales. Okay, so here's several different things that you can use to specifically increase your show percentage immediately on every appointment you're setting. And by the way, this could be in home, this could be in home or could be a Zoom. Okay, or, 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 or it could just be a phone appointment. We've been getting this question a lot when it comes to Zooms, by the way, okay? And I, we just did a training with my buddy Nate on, who's a seven-figure man, uh, for Success Society. And we specifically trained on how to increase show ratio for Zoom appointments. You're not a part of Success Society or Cell System. You need to go to CodyAskins.com to check it out, okay? So I'm gonna give you specifically things that I always did on the phone to increase my show ratio. Right? So there's several visual things that I want to think through and that I want to talk through right now that you can do immediately. Okay, The first thing I'll do after we have agreed on a time for this appointment to take place, this meeting, this drop off, right, this, this demo, whatever you call it, whatever you're doing, Okay, once you've agreed on a time, then I'm going to confirm an address. Now you're like, well dude, what if I'm zooming or whatever, you know, confirm email address. Okay. I want, I want to confirm that I'm going to be doing something with him. If it is a Zoom, I'm going to actually end up using this to send a calendar invite. I love to send a calendar invite because then they have to accept the invite to say, yes, I'm going, and then that invite will notify them to show up. Okay, that'll help the show rate. A lot of people are skipping out on this, and I love, love, love the calendar invite piece. Okay, now some of this I'm gonna just cater to what I would normally do if I was setting an in-home appointment and I'm gonna sprinkle in some Zoom or, or, or telesales pieces along the way. Okay, so after confirming address, then I'm actually having them, I'm, I'm asking, okay, is it a house, apartment, or, 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 a, uh, or a trailer? Okay, so I'm, I'm extracting data. I'm having them describe their place for me and then they're gonna end up telling me about their place, right? House, apartment, or trailer. Then. Okay, now describe it for me, right? What color is it? Is there, uh, you know, is there, a, is, it, is it brick? Like if it's a home, right? Okay, what color is it? Oh, it's, it's white. Okay, great. Is it, a, is, it, is it siding? Is it brick? Like, you know, what kind of house is it, right? Is there anything in the yard? Is there anything in the road that I'll, I'll be able to notice? Okay, so by doing that, you are having them describe it, visualize it, and then I'm taking it a step further where I'm saying, okay, do I need any special directions or will my Google Maps get me there? Well, it'll probably get you there. Just make sure that you turn right on Main Street when you come through the city, okay? Something like that, right? They see me driving to their house, which will hopefully, they take it more seriously and it'll remind them to actually show up, right? So you start describing some of the different pieces Okay, once they do that, right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna actually have them, not only, I'm gonna say, hey, grab a pen and paper for me real quick. Let me say, well, well, why? You know, well, how do you normally record your, you know, your appointments in your meetings? Do you do that on your, on your refrigerator, on a whiteboard? Do you write them down? Do you put them in your phone? Like, how do you typically remind yourself of that? Well, typically I put it in my phone. Okay, great, so, so let's put that in your phone together. I'm putting it in my phone, you put it in yours. I'm also going to send you a calendar invite that you can specifically accept so that you can remember that I'm coming there, right? So whatever that, whatever that is, I want them to take a second and I will let them know, hey, grab a pen and paper. Let me know when you're ready. I'll hold. I'll wait for you, okay? Right? It's not, can you do this? It's not, do you have a pen? It's not, do you have a pad? You have a paper? It's, hey, grab something to write something down. I'll wait for you. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Right? It's less, that's what a lot of people forget. With professional salespeople, it, there's more telling, less selling. There's more telling, there's more asking. There's more telling so that you get in control. And a lot of people forget those pieces. Okay, a lot, a lot of people forget those pieces, especially with, with telling, right? I'm also gonna ask a, while, while after they're writing something down, I'm gonna ask a confirming question, right? Which will actually, hopefully, concrete the, appointment. Now, John, is there anything, is there any reason, this is a question you have to ask, right? This is what I call the lockdown. Okay. The lockdown. If for, for any, if, is there any reason 
Is there any reason why you would not be available Friday at 10 a.m., right? Because we've set the appointment. We know the appointment time. Then I'm moving into, okay, now, John, we have appointment at Friday at 10. Would there be any reason why you would not be able to be there Friday at 10? Can you think of anything at all that would get in the way of you being there Friday at 10? And the reason I love to do this is there's psychology to this. The psychology is most people think they're free, like somebody will say, hey, do you want to play basketball tomorrow night? I'll be like, yeah, sounds good. But then I forget that my wife's family's coming over, right? And then before you know it, I'm like, oh crap, I forgot, I have something I can't, right? You think about it, you think about it. You do that a lot, I do that a lot, everybody, everybody does that a lot. I wanna take that error away. I wanna be in control of the situation. If they're gonna think about something getting in the way of that time, I want them to think about it while I'm on the phone with them. So there's psychology to that, right? So I'm gonna ask them and they'll say, well, you know what, I don't think so, but let me check my calendar. Right? They go to the calendar and says, oh, you know what? Actually, I have a doctor's appointment at 9. I probably should, you know, I probably won't be home till 10, 30, or 11. Okay, so should we do this at like what? 11, 11, 30, noon? What, when do you think is best? I found that out while I was on the phone with them. That's the point of that question. There's two points. Number one, to confirm it's actually okay. It's good, right? Because it, may, it takes them a second to think about it again. Right? It's, it's when you walk into Best Buy and you're like, they're like, hey, can, how can I help, can't help you find anything. No, I'm just looking. And then literally eight seconds later, you're like, I came in here for a DVD player and, and I don't even know where they're at, you know. But, but the guy just asked me about anything, but I, and I should have answered the question, but I didn't because it's human nature to say, I'm, I'm just looking, I'm just shopping. I'm not, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. The same thing is happening when you're booking appointments. Most, some people have stuff and they're not telling you that on the first call. So that's the lockdown. Not only are they available, but also, I want to confirm it. I want to be sure, right? I want to remind them. I want, I want them to take this seriously. They would say, well, yeah, I'll probably be there. Well, then, you know, John, with all due respect, I need to be sure because they keep me super busy, right? This is what Nate was talking about the other day. They keep me super busy. I work with a lot of families. They have, typically, they have me doing 8, 10, 12 meetings a day. They're very short. They're very concise, but they're very important. And every meeting that I... That, that someone like you isn't there does not allow me to help another family. And I'm sure you can understand that my job is to help families and, and I got to better help your, yours as well. So if you don't show, then what we messed, you know, we, we, we unfortunately took up some other family's spot. And again, they keep me super busy. So can, can we be sure that you're there Friday at 10? Can you, can, can you guarantee that for me? Sh short of a nuclear bomb? You're gonna help me out. You'll be there. Yeah, I'll help. I'll be there. I'll help you out. That makes sense, right? It's that it's that extra, it's that extra layer of this is important. I help families. I help people. And if you don't show up, you just took somebody else's spot. Then they feel bad. That's an extra layer to help the show ratio, right? That's that that's the piece that a lot of agents forget about. It's like, well, we think that that we are lucky that they're gonna meet with us, we need to reverse that. They are, I mean, yeah, 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 we're lucky, sure. But maybe their family is 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 fortunate that that we're wanting to to be there to help them. You know? It's more of a I'm busy mentality, I've got a lot going on, and less of, wow, someone wants to freaking sit down with me, you know? Like that, that's not that's not that's not how this thing should go down. Okay? So this is all about increasing the show ratio. Okay, so we talked about in home. Right, several different things. I do. These are these are layers that I legit go through on the phone. I want them to drive me to their home visually. Okay, as far as actual zooms or phone appointments, I love confirming email using a calendar invite. Okay, I wouldn't ask that question or that question or that question. Um, I would. You still use this, right? That that I would still lock down. I would still lock it down. Right, I would still lock it down. Make sure you're doing that, and then I would use the you know how important this is and how they're taking somebody else's spot if they're not present. You know, like when when Nate went through that in Success Society call, cell system call, I was like, man, dude, that was it was a training call. That was one of the questions. Like, he's like, he's like, yeah, I run 15, 20 meetings a week, and I haven't had a I haven't had a no show in months, and I'm like. Like people were like, dang, dude, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's impressive, you know? But it's because he takes his time. This is the last piece. This is the last little bonus that you need to know before we wrap up today's video, okay? First thing is, 
most agents, they set it and then they rush off the phone because they're like, I don't want them to change their mind. Don't, don't, don't change your mind. Uh, right? Instead, you should set it, but you should slow down and make sure it sticks. Right? Because it's one thing to set it. That's cool. If they don't show up, it is a total waste. If you love this and you're like, dude, my show ratio is going up, but you're also thinking, I need some extra tips. I want to keep learning, man. There's three tips to help you become a better insurance agent. It's right there. I'll see you in that video right there. Today is all about the top three tips for becoming a better insurance salesperson. Insurance and succeeding in...